It finally looks like the next generation Apple Mac Studio with M5 series chips is on its way. And this time, it might just be the desktop that redefines Apple's entire Pro lineup once again. When we look at Apple's history with the Mac Studio, the evolution has been fascinating. Back in early 2022, when Apple introduced the original Mac Studio, it filled a massive gap between the iMac and the Mac Pro, a space that creatives, video editors, and developers had long wanted Apple to perfect. The 27-inch iMac was gone, and the Mac Pro was too expensive and overkill for most people. The Mac Studio arrived as a middle ground, compact, powerful, and highly efficient thanks to Apple Silicon. That first model brought us the M1 Max and M1 Ultra chips, and the Ultra chip was basically two M1 Max chips joined together using Apple's UltraFusion architecture. It was a technological marvel, offering up to 20 CPU cores and 64 GPU cores in a small form factor that barely made a sound even under heavy load. That first generation established a whole new category for Apple's desktop line and became a hit with professionals looking for raw power in a compact body. Then, moving forward to 2023, Apple doubled down with the M2 generation. The Mac Studio M2 Max and Mac Studio M2 Ultra brought even more performance gains. Up to 24 CPU cores and 76 GPU cores on the Ultra model, making it the fastest Mac ever made at the time. The new version also refined thermals, offered even better media engines for video encoding, and expanded capabilities for developers working on machine learning models or intensive 3D graphics tasks. It was this version that really made the Mac Studio explode in popularity, particularly for video editors using Final Cut Pro, 3D artists using Blender or Cinema 4D, and developers compiling large code bases in Xcode. But then things got a little strange. At WWDC 2024, Apple introduced a minor refresh that confused almost everyone. Because instead of a full jump to M4 Ultra, Apple released a Mac Studio with the M4 Max, but paired it with an M3 Ultra. This was unexpected and inconsistent with Apple's usual silicon progression. The M4 Max brought some incredible AI performance and improved efficiency with a 3 nanometer process but the M3 Ultra was essentially two older M3 Max chips fused together, which made many question the logic behind Apple's decision. While the M4 Max Studio was powerful, efficient, and priced around $1,999, the M3 Ultra model, costing $3,999, didn't offer the kind of leap users expected for that price. CPU performance was similar, GPU performance slightly better, but not enough to justify paying twice as much. This caused many professionals to skip that generation altogether, waiting for something truly groundbreaking. And now, that's exactly what the M5 generation promises to be. According to multiple industry sources, leakers, and supply chain report from Taiwan, the Mac Studio M5 will finally bring the biggest generational leap we've seen since the original model. Built on TSMC's new 2 nanometer process, the M5 chips will not only deliver incredible speed gains, but will also massively improve energy efficiency, heat management, and AI computation. Apple is preparing the M5 lineup to power the next wave of AI-driven applications, Apple intelligence tools, and creative workflows. The M5 Max will reportedly feature a 20-core CPU consisting of 16 performance cores and four efficiency cores, with clock speeds hitting new records for Apple Silicon. That's up from the 12 plus four configuration on the M4 Max. The GPU side is even more impressive, with reports hinting at 42 or even 48 GPU cores, all redesigned with next generation metal acceleration and real-time ray tracing support. Apple is also expected to include its most advanced neural engine yet, possibly with up to 80 trillion operations per second, tops, dedicated to AI tasks. This could transform how the Mac Studio handles real-time AI editing, background removal, and intelligent video rendering. Meanwhile, the M5 Ultra, the crown jewel of the lineup, will once again use Apple's UltraFusion to combine two M5 Max chips into one absolute monster of a processor. Early estimates suggest up to 40 CPU cores, 
32 performance plus 8 efficiency, and potentially 84 GPU cores, making it more powerful than many full-blown workstations while consuming a fraction of power. Built on the 2 nanometers architecture, this chip could finally close the gap between Apple Silicon and high-end desktop. GPUs like NVIDIA's RTX 5090 or AMD's Radeon Pro series. The M5 Ultra is also expected to have a unified memory bandwidth increase of over 25%, supporting up to 256 gigabytes of unified RAM with faster LPDDR6 memory modules. Storage configurations are also rumored to start at 1 terabyte SSD and scale up to 8 terabytes. This machine will be purpose-built for creative professionals, developers, and AI researchers who need to train and test models locally. Now let's talk design. Apple is unlikely to change much externally with a Mac Studio. It already has a near-perfect compact form factor that professionals love. However, sources close to the supply chain have hinted at a space black finish option, similar to what Apple introduced for the M3 MacBook Pro line. That darker aluminum look would give the Mac Studio a sleek, stealthy aesthetic that matches the Pro Display XDR and the upcoming Studio Display too. Speaking of the Studio Display, Apple is expected to launch a second-generation Studio Display alongside the M5 Mac Studio, potentially with a mini-LED panel, promotion 120Hz refresh rate, and built-in Apple Silicon chip for image processing and center stage functionality that could make the overall studio setup more cohesive and premium than ever before. As for ports, the same layout will likely continue. For Thunderbolt 4, or possibly Thunderbolt 5, ports, two USB-A, HDMI 2.1, 10 gigabits Ethernet, and an SDXC card reader. Thunderbolt 5 would be a significant upgrade, offering 120 gigabits per second bandwidth for external GPUs and high-resolution monitors, effectively future-proofing the system for upcoming 8K or even 12K displays. Inside, Apple is expected to refine the thermal system further. With the 2 nanometers chips producing less heat overall, fan noise could be reduced to near silence, even under extreme load, continuing the tradition of whisper-quiet performance that the Mac Studio is famous for. Performance-wise, Early leaks and internal testing reports suggest that the M5 Max Max Studio could outperform the M3 Ultra Max Studio by over 30% in real-world tasks while using less power. GPU performance, particularly for rendering and AI-based workloads, could see an even bigger boost, up to 40% in metal and GPU benchmarks. With the inclusion of Apple's enhanced neural engine and dedicated AI cores, Expect seamless integration with Apple Intelligence, the company's new on-device AI system that powers contextual suggestions, intelligent photo editing, and voice control across macOS. Developers will likely use the M5 Mac Studio to train smaller machine learning models locally before deploying them to the cloud. It's not just a creative tool now. It's a machine learning powerhouse. On the pricing side, don't expect drastic changes. Apple has been consistent with its pricing structure for the Mac Studio lineup. The M5 Max model will likely start at $1,999, while the M5 Ultra model will begin at $3,999. Those numbers have remained unchanged since the original M1 models, and Apple is unlikely to increase them given global economic conditions and the competition from high-end Windows desktops powered by Intel Core Ultra and AMD Ryzen AI chips. That said, with the M5 Ultra expected to offer massive improvements in both AI and GPU performance, it might finally be a better value compared to the confusing M3 Ultra version. So when can we expect to see it? Based on Apple's silicon release cycle, the base M5 chip should debut before the end of 2025, possibly with the next generation MacBook Air or iPad Pro refresh. The M5 Pro and M5 Max variants could then follow in early 2026, with the Mac Studio M5 officially unveiled at WWDC 2026, Apple's annual developer conference. That timeline makes perfect sense given the product's audience, developers, 3D artists, video editors, and AI professionals who gather for WWDC each year. 
The event would be the ideal stage for Apple to show how the M5 Ultra can handle next-level AI processing, complex multi-camera editing, or 8K ProRes workflows in Final Cut Pro. It's also the perfect time for Apple to showcase how macOS 16, or possibly macOS 17 by then, integrates with Apple intelligence and on-device machine learning, optimized for the M5 architecture. What's even more exciting is that this time around, Apple may push harder into AI workstation marketing. The Mac Studio M5 Ultra could become Apple's flagship machine for creators and AI developers who don't need the modular expandability of the Mac Pro but want pure silicon power. With Fee2, residential like faster neural processing, advanced metal FX scaling, new ProRes engines, and ultra fast memory, Apple could be targeting competitors like NVIDIA's RTX 6000 workstations and Intel Xeon based towers except doing it with half the power draw and almost no noise. The company has already demonstrated impressive AI video generation tools internally, and the M5 series will be the backbone of that performance leap. Storage speed improvements are also expected. The M5 Mac Studio could use PCIe 5.0 base storage, enabling read and write speeds exceeding 10 gigabytes per second. That means massive video files, 3D models, and AI datasets could load nearly instantly. Combine that with macOS optimization and Apple's custom controllers, and you get a system designed not just for raw speed, but for seamless, fluid, creative workflows. Now, let's talk memory architecture because this is another area Apple is pushing forward with the M5 lineup. The unified memory system will reportedly move to LP DDR6, offering much higher bandwidth and efficiency. This means even the 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes configurations will feel dramatically faster when handling large After Effects projects or AI simulations. Apple's memory compression algorithms are also being improved to make sure every gigabyte of RAM is used more effectively. It's small changes like these that make the Mac Studio more than just a computer. It becomes a tightly integrated creative powerhouse. And let's not forget about software. The M5 Studio will ship with Mac OS 16 or 17, deeply integrated with Apple Intelligence, offering AI base code completion in Xcode, smart color grading in Final Cut Pro, automatic audio cleanup in Logic Pro, and natural language editing in Pages and Keynote. These on-device AI features will all leverage the new neural engine and secure enclave, ensuring privacy while delivering cutting-edge performance. Apple is clearly building a future where its own chips and software work hand-in-hand -hand to deliver an experience no other ecosystem can match. Another potential feature under testing is Wi-Fi 7 support, offering speeds up to 40 gigabits per second, and Bluetooth 6e for ultra-low latency wireless connections with a new generation of AirPods and peripherals. That will be especially useful for creative studios working with high bandwidth file transfers or streaming to multiple displays wirelessly. All in all, the Mac Studio M5 represents more than just another update. It's Apple's statement that desktop computing is still evolving. The blend of raw performance, AI acceleration, and seamless Mac OS integration makes it one of the most anticipated products of 2026. Apple seems to be aligning its hardware and software to serve the next generation of AI-driven creativity, and the M5 Studio could be at the center of that shift. Whether you're a filmmaker, music producer, developer, or AI engineer, this machine looks like it will be built to handle anything you throw at it. As for release and availability, Apple will likely start pre-orders right after the WWDC 2026 announcement, with units shipping by late June or early July. Given how popular previous versions have been, you can expect limited stock at launch, especially for the M5 Ultra configurations. So the big question now is, are you ready for the Mac Studio M5? With double the performance, next level AI capabilities, and the sleek new design, it looks like this is the upgrade everyone has been waiting for. Whether you're editing 8K footage, training AI models, or designing in 3D, this machine could redefine what desktop power really means in 2026. If Apple delivers everything the rumors suggest, 2 nanometers chips, Thunderbolt 5, LPDDR6 memory, 
and up to 84 GPU cores, then we might just witness the most powerful and efficient desktop Apple has ever made. So let's get ready for the future of creative computing, because it's coming faster than we think, and the Mac Studio M5 might just be the beginning of a whole new Apple era.